Hi everyone and welcome to today's powerful morning yoga flow. We get right into it with a sun salutation. Today we will move quick, we will not stay in poses for a long time to really give you this energy boost in the morning. So start in a hip width apart stand at the top of your mat with your inhale, reach your arms up high, exhale forward, forward, inhale halfway lift. Exhale back, down, step the right leg back, come to a low lunge, then ground both of your hands down, step back to plank, lower your knees, your chest and your chin down, inhale, slide forward to baby cobra, exhale and come back to a first downward facing dog, take a moment here to bring one heel down and then the other. And look between your hands, step the right foot forward, extend the right leg, micro bend the left and step forward to your forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to chins. Exhale down. Inhale, reach both of your arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do the same on the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, make your spine long. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, step back to low lunge. Ground both of your hands down. Step back to plank. Stay here for a moment. One breath in and out. Lower your knees, your chest, your chin down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Again, bend one knee and then the other here. Pull your belly button in. Reach your sitting bones up high. Then look between your hands. Step the left foot forward. Straighten the left leg. Micro bend the right. Step forward to forward bend. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, reach both of your arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. I hope your body feels warm now. So let's move into our flow. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Then step back to a downward facing dog. Let's spend a moment here first. Bend your knees. And stretch out the hamstrings. Check in with your body and notice how you feel today. Then inhale, extend your right leg to the back. Three-legged dog. And then bring your right knee forward to your right elbow. And both of your shoulders should be in line with your wrists. Then back to three-legged dog. And we cross over. Right knee to left elbow. Hold here. Great. Back to three-legged dog. Then step forward, bring the right foot down, right next to your right thumb. Pivot the left heel down and come up to warrior two. Take your time to find position here. Check in with your alignment. Your hips should be open. Your arms are extended. Your knee should be on top of your ankle here, so make sure it's not falling to the inside. Shift it back a little bit that it's in line and that you can see your big toe. Great. And we will include some flying warriors here. So with your inhale, extend the front leg, and bring the hands together to touch. Exhale back to warrior two. Four more. Last one, come back to warrior two and we continue our flow with a flow between reverse warrior and extended side angle. So for your reverse warrior, reach the right arm back 
And with your exhale, come forward, bring the right arm onto your thigh and reach the left arm to the front. Four more. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale back, exhale, reach forward, inhale, come back to reverse warrior, but this time extend your front leg and then fold forward, hinging at your hip, bring the right hand down and come to triangle pose. Great. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you press your whole body against it to keep your chest open here. You can always bring your hand on a block or on a shin, whatever feels good here. Great. Then come up to standing, pivot your right toes around, bring your hands to your hips, open up your chest, exhale, fold forward to a standing right legged forward bend. And breathe here for a moment, let your head hang heavy. Maybe bring your hands in line with your feet and pull yourself down a little bit more. Then lift your head up a little bit and make a straight spine. Bring your hand right down on the mat or on the floor, right under your face. And then lift the left arm up for this right legged twist. Great. Stay here for a moment. Reach your left arm up as high as you can. And we switch sides. Left hand comes down on the floor. And right hand comes up to the sky. Maybe this side feels a little bit more difficult. That's totally normal. Then bring both hands back. Walk your hands to the front of the mat and step back to downward facing dog. Let's take one deep breath here and exhale. And we do the same on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up and then bring the left knee to tap the left elbow. Great. Back to three legged dog and we cross over left knee to right elbow. Stay strong and back to three-legged dog. Then bring the left hand forward and set up for warrior two. Bring the torso up. Bring your torso over your pelvis. Sink down in your hips. Take a moment here to find really a good positioning here. You should see your big toes here. Pull the belly button in. Extend the arms out. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. Great. And we start our flying warriors. So inhale to come up, exhale, come back down. Four more. Great. Come back to your warrior two and we alternate between reverse warrior and side angle. So inhale, reach back to reverse warrior. Exhale, come forward to your side angle. Really stretch the right arm forward that you stretch from your fingertips to your heel. And back to reverse warrior, forward to side angle. Three more. And your last one, inhale back, exhale forward. Then come back to reverse warrior one more time, extend the front leg and then come forward to triangle. Bring your left hand down on the mat, on your shin, or on a block. Reach the right arm up, 
Make sure to open up your shoulders and your chest here. Think about this wall behind you. Then slowly come up to standing. Pivot your toes around so that all toes point to the right side. Hands to hips, open chest. Exhale, fold forward to your wide-legged forward bend. And we stay here for a moment. Just relax, let your head hang heavy. Come back to your breath. Lift your head up a little bit, make your spine long. Right hand comes down on the mat and bring the left hand up to the sky. And we switch sides, left hand comes down, right arm comes up. Reach up, twist, your whole spine here. And bring your hand down, walk to the front of the mat and step back to your downward facing dog. Take a moment here for a deep breath in and out. Maybe come to your toes here when you inhale and exhale, bring them down a little further. The next pose is a little bit more difficult or a little bit more intense. So bring your feet hip width apart, then come forward to plank pose and we will do some side planks. So you first roll both of your feet over to the right side and then lift your left arm up, reach up and bring your hand back down, come back to plank and we do the same on the other side. So heels come over to the left and your right arm come up and back to plank. Let's do this two times on each side. Lift the left arm up and roll over and lift the right arm up. One more time on each side. Roll over and lift left up. Make sure to press your hip forward here and come back to plank. Come over to the other side and lift the right arm up and come back to plank. Lower your knees down and rest in child's pose for a moment. Then slowly come back up. We have one more intense pose here. For that, we lay down on our back and we do bridge pose. You can choose here your intensity level a little bit. So you can either just lift your hips up and down for our bridge pose, or if you follow me, bring your arms next to you shoulders away from the ears, press your arms down into the mat, then lift your hips up high and extend the right leg up. Point your toes here and then slowly lower the hips down and bring back up four more times and lift up. So again, if this doesn't feel good today, just have both of your feet down on the mat. And we switch sides, lift the left leg up, toes point up and slowly bring your hip up and down five times in total. One more. Bring both feet down, lift your hips up as high as you can and relax down.
Then bring both knees into your chest. Gently roll from left to right. Then extend your right arm out to the side. Oops. Extend your right arm out to the side if you have enough space and bring both knees over to the left. Both of your shoulders stay, stay grounded on the mat. Maybe gaze over to the right side here and enjoy this twist. Then come back to center. Extend your left arm out to the side and bring both knees over to the right. Again, both shoulders stay grounded on the mat and you can gaze either up to the ceiling or to your left hand. Take deep belly breaths here. Then come back to center. Both knees come into your chest. Maybe lift your head up and give yourself a hug. And then extend your arms and your legs to the sides for our final resting pose. Take a moment here to adjust your body and find your perfect positioning. And then find some stillness and relax your body into the mat. Let it get heavier and heavier. Take one more deep breath in and out. Shavasana. And slowly wiggle your toes and your fingers. Stretch your arms over your head. Bring your knees into your chest and then slowly start to walk back and forth. First, it's very gentle and easy. Let your rows become bigger and bigger until you come up to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs in front of you. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.